Right. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Right, oh, you want to be in the video? You want to be in the video, Lovey? Come here. Up here. You gotta get Come over here. here. Other side. <gasps> there we go. Now we can start the video. Oh wait, we got more approaching. Where's Where's Owen? Chicken wing. Owen. Where chicken wing go? He's coming. Oh, there's the other. Oh, now we're all here. See? All right. Well, now we can start the video. Say hi, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to another video. And today we had another rehoming situation. So we'll explain further. It's a little loud out here. So I think we're going to explain further as soon as we get back in the truck. Okay. <laughs> Is it nice to stretch your legs, lovey? Yeah. <laughs> Stretching our legs at the rest stop. Stay there, Macy. They're trying to get a lizard. He just crawled in there. He ain't coming out, dude. Don't hit it. That's not going to make him come out. It's going to make him go back in, silly. All right, so we're not doing this back at the truck because kids want to play some more. We've been stuck inside, so everybody's glad to be out in the fresh air, kind of in the bush. It's really nice. All right, so real quick, if you haven't already, go check out our Instagram page at fender.footprints. Or, like I said before, if you're only here for our reptile stuff, you can go check out our reptile dedicated Instagram page at morphed.footprints. And so, on today's video, we did find another rehoming situation. I don't know if it's because of uh, the current situation with the, the pandemic that's going on, if people feel that they just can't take a, care of their animals. I, I don't know what the situation is, but there's a lot of people that are trying to rehome their animals for whatever reason right now. We live in Reno, Nevada, and we found this animal in Sacramento, so we drove over the over the Sierra Nevadas into Sacramento uh, to pick up this animal today. So we are currently heading home and then as soon as we get home and get uh, everything set up, then we will do kind of like an unboxing. I will show you what we picked up. <laughs> Take a wild guess what it could be. You guys ready? Yes. Yeah. All right. Ready for this, Daddy? I'm, I'm behind the camera, way over here. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm way good. <laughs> she didn't come in this box. This is just how we got her home. You got good lighting, Daddy? Yeah, I can see you pretty good. Here, you want to look in the back? Not really. <laughs> I know I can get up that high. Uh-oh. Let's see how we're going to do this. Where's her head? You know where her head is? Yep, I know exactly. Here. 
Oh yeah. reputation for being handleable. <laughs> and now we're going to go put her back because she's looking a little pricey. <laughs> Alright, Mama, go for it. Put her in her home. Right. You can go open the cage. I was going to see if she would come off on the other one. Yeah. I don't think so. I think I'm just going to set this down so she'll crawl up onto something else. You could do that too. I sure the hell am. You're a jerk. Oh, that's not what I meant. She wasn't. I was, I know, but I don't know her. She's a new animal, so I took the opportunity and I did it. Go out? No, in, in. She's like, what's wrong with these people? She kicked me out. All right, we got her in safely. All right, so. All I did was use our feeding tongs and kind of gently push that in there and I'm just going to leave that right there and let her take her time to get back up one of these and then I'll fix that one. But she's being defensive and I don't feel like getting bit. So for those of you don't, that don't know, emerald tree boas have the longest fangs and their bite packs a punch. Um, it's supposed, they're supposedly have the longest fangs of, uh, any non-venomous snake. So I'd rather not get bit and especially bit for the first time by that. On the first day. Oh God. No, thank you. My heart's racing. That was a, uh, yeah, that was an adrenaline rush for sure. Oh my God. See, she's not trying to strike. She's very curious, but I'm not going to test my luck until I get to know this animal a little bit better. Super pretty though. <laughs> All of them interested in the phone. Yeah, she's like, are you gonna feed me with that thing? I know. <laughs> no, sorry, no food for a couple days. Where's the food ejector button? The food ejector button. But look at that belly and her pattern. Oh my goodness. She's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that tongue, oh my goodness. Look at that tail. I know. It's, it's from her body all the way around this tail. I know. The tail starts right there, and her cloaca isn't until up here. That's how long their tail is. Really cool. Very interesting. Tell you what, if I was 100 feet off the ground, I'd hold on pretty tight, too. I know, right? I'm doing research. So, is this going to be a new homeschool project? Yep. There, we have it in his book. If you're interested, it's in this Animal DK Smithsonian book all about the emerald tree boa. And see those nice teeth? That's what I didn't want to get bit by. No, thank you. South America. Awesome, huh? Up to six feet. And All right, you go read all about it and tell us. And look at this. That's what I meant to say. It's the size she's going to get. Yep. All right, so this is going to be the end of the video. That was kind of exciting and a little exhilarating and a little scary, I'm not going to lie. But this is the end of our video. This is another rehome, and we are glad to have her. She is a stunningly beautiful snake. So again, don't forget to go follow our Instagram page at morph.footprints. We'll be posting some pictures of her shortly after this video goes up, um, hopefully in a couple days or so. All right, got her perch all fixed up. Now she can climb up to where she wants. Sorry, there's a major glare. So I forgot to mention her exoterra is a 36 tall by 24 by 18 inch. And this was 
uh, given to us by the person we got her from. This is her original enclosure. This isn't from us. And I hope you enjoyed the video. We still have more stuff to come. So please subscribe, like the video if you liked it, and we will see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.